girls and boys, this is lesson 27 of English for You. This is the last lesson of the first year of English for You. Today, we are in Berlin, the capital of the GDR. Wir sind in der Hauptstadt der DDR. We are in the capital of the GDR. Let's have a look at some sights. There's the television tower. The television tower. It's 365 meters tall. Er ist 365 meter hoch. It's 365 meters tall. There's the Brandenburg Gate. Das Brandenburger Tor. That's the Palace of the Republic. The Palace of the Republic. That building is a museum. Its name is Altus Museum. The name of this street is Rathausstraße. Let's go down this street to Alexanderplatz. This big building on the left is a hotel. The Stadt Berlin Hotel on Alexanderplatz. That's the International Cinema in Karl Marx Allee. And what's the name of that restaurant? It's the Moscow restaurant. Let's go back to Alexanderplatz and have a look at this interesting clock. What's the time in Moscow now? Yes, in Moscow it's 12 o'clock. What's the time in London? It's 10 o'clock. And what's the time in New York? It's only four o'clock. But in Berlin, it is 10 o'clock now. Mike and Dan are in Berlin for three days. Mike, der noch in eine Zeitungsredaktion war, hat sich für halb elf Uhr mit Anne an der Weltzeituhr verabredet. Excuse me, how can I get to uh, Alexanderplatz? Ich verstehe nicht. Alexanderplatz. Alexanderplatz. Tut mir leid, kann ich nicht sagen. Excuse me, do you speak English? Yes, I do. How can I get to Alexanderplatz? To Alexanderplatz? You can go by bus. The bus stop is over there. Or would you like to walk? How far is it? 20 minutes. You can come with me. I'm going to the Palace of the Republic. Fine, I'll come with you. I'm going to meet my girlfriend on Alexanderplatz at half past ten. We're going to have a look at the television tower. I see. Is Berlin your hometown? No, it isn't. I come from Rostock, but I've been here for two years. Oh, that's interesting. We were in Rostock last week. We arrived here in Berlin last Did night. Did you like Rostock? Oh, yes, it's a beautiful town. We had a look at the sites, and we talked to a lot of people. I've learned interesting things about Rostock, and about working and living conditions in the GDR. Are you a reporter? Yes, I am. Do you come from London? Yes, it's my hometown. Your English is very good. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Are you a student of English? No, I'm not. I'm a student of physics. When did you start to learn English? Ten years ago. I was 13 then. I had English lessons at school for six years. And I've had English at the university for two years. Does every student at university learn English? All students learn Russian. And many of them also learn English. What's that building? It's the opera. And that building is the university. How many students are there at the university? Eleven or twelve thousand, I think. And will they all get jobs after university? Yes, of course. What's that big building? 
It's the Palace of the Republic. Is it open to visitors? Yes, it is. When did they build it? Between 1973 and 76. Hmm. We'll go there this afternoon. You'll like it. And where's Alexanderplatz? You go down this street. That tall building is the Stadt Berlin Hotel on Alexanderplatz. Thanks very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now, let's have a look at some new words. Say after me, Berlin, the capital of the GDR. Television Tower. It's very tall. The Palace of the Republic. A lot of visitors. Mike talked to a student in English. Can you answer in English? Let's see. Mike will ask you some questions now and you answer them. Excuse me, do you speak English? Yes, I do. How can I get to Alexanderplatz? You can go by bus. Where is the bus stop? The bus stop is over there. Excuse me, when does the next bus leave? It leaves at 10.26. How much does a ticket to Alexanderplatz cost? It costs 20 pfennigs. Only 20 pfennigs? Thank you very much. I'll wait for the next bus. Thank you, girls and boys. Now, let's watch our film again. Excuse me, how can I get to uh, Alexanderplatz? Ich verstehe nicht. Alexanderplatz. Alexanderplatz. Tut mir leid, kann ich nicht sagen. Excuse me, do you speak English? Yes, I do. Uh, how can I get to Alexanderplatz? To Alexanderplatz. You can go by bus. The bus stop is over there. Or would you like to walk? How far is it? 20 minutes. You can come with me. I'm going to the Palace of the Republic. Fine, I'll come with you. I'm going to meet my girlfriend on Alexanderplatz at half past ten. We're going to have a look at the television tower. I see. Is Berlin your hometown? No, it isn't. I come from Rostock, but I've been here for two years. Oh, that's interesting. We were in Rostock last week. We arrived here in Berlin last Did night. Did you like Rostock? Oh, yes. It's a beautiful town. We had a look at the sites, and we talked to a lot of people. I've learned interesting things about Rostock, and about working and living conditions in the GDR. Are you a reporter? Yes, I am. Do you come from London? Yes, it's my hometown. Your English is very good. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Are you a student of English? No, I'm not. I'm a student of physics. 
When did you start to learn English? Ten years ago. I was 13 then. I had English lessons at school for six years, and I've had English at the university for two years. Does every student at university learn English? All students learn Russian, and many of them also learn English. What's that building? It's the opera. And that building is the university. How many students are there at the university? Eleven or twelve thousand, I think. And will they all get jobs after university? Yes, of course. What's that big building? It's the Palace of the Republic. Is it open to visitors? Yes, it is. When did they build it? Between 1973 and 76. Hmm. We'll go there this afternoon. You'll like it. And where's Alexanderplatz? You go down this street. That tall building is the Stadt Berlin Hotel on Alexanderplatz. Thirty-five already. Where is Mike? Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. Danke. Entschuldigung. Thank you. been waiting? Ten minutes. What are you reading? Berlin, capital of the GDR, the television tower. I know a lot about it now. Can you guess how tall it is? Mm, 250 meters? No, more. 300 meters? It's 365 meters tall. There's a lookout platform, 203 meters up. And there's a cafe for 200 people. And when did they build the tower? Uh, between 1965 and 69. How much does it cost to go up? A ticket for the lookout platform costs three marks. And you can stay up there for 30 minutes. A ticket for the telecafe costs five marks, and you can stay up there for an hour. Well, let's go and buy some tickets for the platform. Or would you like to have a look at Berlin from the cafe? Let's go up to the platform. That building is the Palace of the Republic. Is it open to visitors? Yes, it is. We'll go there this afternoon. Fine. Look, there's the Brandenburg Gate. I see. What's that building with the mosaic? I don't know. Can I help you? Yes. What's that building with the mosaic? This. Das Haus des Lehrers. The Teachers' Center, built in 1964. And that building is the Stadt Berlin Hotel. How tall is it? It's 137 meters tall, and it has 2,000 beds. And the GDR Travel Agency is in that building over there. Doch nun, liebe Mädchen und Jungen, folgt unser letzter gemeinsamer Übungsteil. Anne wird euch im Palast der Republik einige Fragen stellen, die ihr beantworten sollt. How tall is the television tower?
It's 365 meters tall. How much does a ticket for the lookout platform cost? It costs three marks. How much does a ticket for the cafe cost? It costs five marks. How many people can sit in the cafe? Two hundred people can sit there. How long can you stay in the cafe? You can stay there for an hour. And what's the name of this building? Yes, it's the Palace of the Republic. Thank you very much. Thanks. Berlin is really beautiful. It's a pity we've got to leave so soon. Goodbye, Berlin. Goodbye, boys and girls. All the best. It's also time for me to say goodbye. We are going back to England. We wünschen euch weiterhin viel Erfolg beim Lernen. All the best. Alles Gute. Goodbye. Goodbye, girls and boys. Goodbye. Troubles, yes, but I know that you knew it too. There's no place for two. In a single human, fate toast of the game. You and me went down in hand in hand. You got nothing of what I said. I would make a vow, it is too late now. Don't give me just too late. I'm another guy I know you came Seeking the game Trying another But I miss too That game for love
Willkommen, liebe Zuschauer, bei uns im Zweiten. In unserem heutigen Abendprogramm sehen Sie den Spielfilm Die große Liebe der Lady Caroline mit Lawrence, Olivier und einem Ensemble namhafter englischer Schauspieler wie Sarah Miles, Richard Chamberlain, Joan Mills und Ralph Richardson. In das Jahr 1972, in dem der Film entstand, fiel auch Olivis endgültiger Abschied vom Theater. Eine Krankheit zwang ihn dazu, sich von der Bühne zurückzuziehen und kürzer zu treten. Hinter ihm lagen erfolgreiche Auftritte und Inszenierungen am Old Vic, am St. James und am Nationaltheater, dessen Leitung er seit 1962 innehatte. Olivers Beliebtheit, besonders nach dem zweiten 